Uh, hi everyone, uh, this, in this video we are going to talk about the Manufacturing Engineering Program at Ain Shams University. I am Mohammed Al Bahiri, I am the Manufacturing Engineering Program Unit Head at Ain Shams University. Uh, the study of uh, to study manufacturing engineering, we start with the basic engineering uh, requirement. You must study mainly few courses. They are basically physics, uh, chemistry, uh, mathematics, uh, dynamics, and statics. Uh, some engineering program like uh, com uh, computer engineering, like uh, engineering drawing, uh, uh, basic engineering processes, manufacturing processes. All these are engineering required. All engineers must know. All students at the Faculty of Engineering in Shams University are studying. Uh, after, uh, while we are studying this, we start to have some of the mechanical engineering requirement courses because the manufacturing engineering is part of the many mechanical engineering discipline. So we start to uh, study the courses about the uh, heat, uh, about the uh, flow of fluids. Uh, some of the manufacturing courses also are considered uh, basic mechanical. Uh, so we start with this uh, mechanical drawing, mechanical engineering drawing. Uh, so we start, uh, we uh, study the mechanical engineering requirement course. After this, we start with the basic manufacturing processes focus on the manufacturing process and on design. As we see, said in the video of what our manufacturing engineering is, uh, we said that we design, we design products, we design machinery, we design process. So you must have a knowledge about how to design uh, all this uh, stuff. And of course, we focus then on the manufacturing engineering process, the, the mostly or the uh, basic manufacturing engineering process. Then we have to focus on two things. The basic manufacturing management, we said that we manage. The factory managers are, all of them are manufacturing engineers. So you must uh, learn how to manage the factory or actually how to manage any business. So we study management in the uh, manufacturing engineering program and then we have the advanced manufacturing technologies this can be split into very advanced manufacturing uh, processes like the 3d printing for example if you know 3d printing you can google it or the additive manufacturing the new uh, manufacturing engineering process and the automation we must study automation a lot uh, because in our uh, in in the factories we uh, have many automated uh, uh, machinery so you must know how to uh, manage this machinery how to run this machinery uh, a, a part of our study is related to automation then we give you the opportunity to have some concentration in your study through selecting four elective courses you can choose between in advanced manufacturing engineer, uh, engineering concentration in the advanced manufacturing engineering concentration you can select four courses which are mainly uh, related to uh, automation and robotics you can select these uh, four, uh, four courses in this area or you can focus on and of course perform your graduation projects in this area this represents 10 percent of your study or you can focus on the manufacturing uh, management area to be have this for uh, uh, elective courses in manufacturing management and your graduation project in manufacturing management while you are studying all of this you must have some university requirements. The university requirements are focusing on the uh, skills, uh, soft skills you have, like communication skills, writing skills, presentation skills. You have some uh, six courses covering uh, various types of skills, marketing, for example, uh, accounting, uh, one of the courses. Some of them are skills and some are uh, uh, maybe uh, not in the uh, directly related or uh, uh, not of the core of the engineering discipline uh, as uh, the marketing and uh, for example we have this innovation course uh, entrepreneurship course uh, creativity or co-code we have a lot of courses covering these uh, areas uh, uh, 
in order to graduate, you must spend uh, field training for 12 weeks. Uh, we have many options in the field training. For example, uh, after your second year in the university, we will have four weeks of training. Usually you spend in the faculty, in the workshop of the faculty to introduce you uh, some hands-on. We know that we are manufacturing engineer. We don't work uh, with our hands. We manage and design, but you must have the feeling of the processes. So this basically is done in our uh, university and the workshop and the laboratories of our university. Uh, then after you finish the third year, we encourage you to go to uh, some of the uh, uh, factories in Egypt. We have some agreements with factories. We uh, so we have this opportunity. After your third year, uh, uh, you have the option to spend the rest of the four weeks uh, needed in field training in Egyptian factories, or sometimes we have opportunity to send you to some of our partner university to have some advanced. Uh, uh, engineering uh, courses at this university and we count them from the, your training or sometimes we invite some of the industry professionals to give you these courses in uh, our uh, campus. We have a lot of agreements with many universities that we can spend the four year, weeks, last four weeks at. We have Bihang University in uh, China, uh, Birmingham. They uh, have the opportunity to do your graduation project in uh, Birmingham. Sometimes we do this. Uh, TU Klaus Tal, you can spend me, uh, four weeks of training at, uh, in Germany in Klaus Tal. Uh, Sapienza, we have an agreement, but of course, of the COVID, we, uh, the agreement didn't work this year, uh, that you spend uh, a whole semester there but this is uh, and we credit transfer that we count the courses you have in sapienza uh, as uh, equivalent uh, courses in our of course we have a dual degree agreement you spend five years studying here in egypt but you will get two degrees one as in manufacturing engineering from ancient university the other as manufacturing engineer from uh, yeah, university of east london why this is important because to have the second uh, british degree we have uh, uh, audits came to our process from the QAA, which is the Quality Accreditation and Insurance for Higher Education in uh, Britain. Uh, we have the last visit last year. They visited our laboratories. They visited uh, all to check that we have uh, a high quality education in our university. Uh, each student portfolio, what mean by student portfolio, all your exams, all the assignments you submit, all the quizzes are gathered and these are sent each year to East London to review it and East London send it to another professor in another British university uh, to uh, be sure that we are presenting a very high uh, quality education in uh, ancients. Uh, thank you listening and if you have any question please do not hesitate to uh, send you an email send me an email or contact us through our facebook group or send me a twitter dm on this account thank you very much